Hey everybody, it's Tammy and welcome back to my little crafting corner of the world here at Creative Girl Vintage. Over the weekend, I was doing a little bit of organizing in my craft room. I stumbled upon a broken down box with a bingo game in it. I, I really don't even remember buying it. Probably found it at the flea market a long time ago, but inside was this stack of beautiful vintage bingo cards. So I asked myself, what do, why do I need all these bingo cards? So the answer to that question is, I don't. I don't need this many bingo cards. So I decided I'm going to share the love with you guys. So what I did was I created a paper crafting bundle with three projects in it. It is a bird theme. I've created these beautiful birds and uh, the three projects will include an altered bingo card, a tag, and an ornament. So um, I had a lot of fun putting this together. I'll show you everything that I put in the paper crafting bundle and um, share with you my love of nature and my love of birds because when I was doing this project, it just really made me smile. So I hope it makes you smile too. And let me grab all the goods and let's get started. Let me show you the paper crafting bundle. So inside this bundle, you will find vintage book pages, vintage bingo card, vintage sheet music, and this beautiful sheet that I created with these birds. And you're going to love crafting with them. They're just so pretty. And then there is a sheet of heavy craft cardstock that we'll be using too. So I got you covered on the paper end of this, you guys. What you're going to need get in your crafting stash and pull out your scraps of fabric and lace and ribbon and buttons and flowers and all that little stuff that you have for embellishing. And um, even if you're not into like purchasing this because you have a craft stash like mine that's just bulging at the seams, maybe this video will serve as a little bit of inspiration to you to kick, get something kickstarted, you know, just like give you some ideas. So this bundle is available in my Etsy shop. The link to my shop is below. And um, I think we should start with the vintage bingo card, the altered bingo card. And um, I think that's a good starting place. So let me pull out what we need for that and let's get going. All right, the first thing I thought we'd get out of the way is let's go ahead and put a hanger on our bingo card. I'm going to use, this is some vintage seam binding ribbon. I liked the color. It's kind of an organic kind of green. I thought it went good with the nature. I'm going to pop a couple holes just using a hole punch right at the top here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and pop our ribbon in. I always, when I'm putting a hanger on anything like this flat, I always go in from the back. It actually will hang better for you that way than when it's on the front. This is something I've always, I found out the hard way a long time ago and it just worked. Okay, you can use plenty of different things here for your hanger. You can use lace and jute, wire, um, even take fabric and rip it in a big strip would be really pretty too. So there's lots of choices depending on what you got laying around. I like crafting with all these little scraps of things. Maybe that's why I save everything. Okay. Let's trim the excess off here if you like. Okay. Let's set that aside. Take a look at our, our paper crafting bundle sheet here. So for this project for the bingo card, I'm going to use this little pair of birds, the Sing Often and the Rose. So let's get this off of the big sheet, just kind of by going around. Be careful going around this corner right here because you got a little budgie head right there. Let's take some of this excess paper off so it's easier to work with. Okay, for this, I am going to use my little precision cutter bees and, of course, my glasses. And we're going to do some serious fussy cutting, okay? So just using my little tiny scissors, these just get in here and get the job done. I am going to start just very carefully and 
just relaxing as I do it and enjoy the process of the cutting. I just wanted to show you, um, when I got around to this side right here with these little skinny bird legs, um, if you like, you can take an X-Acto knife and clean that up inside of there. But actually, I have this rose over here that I'm going to use to cover that up. So I'm not going to take the extra effort to get in there and cut those little tiny legs out. This, these um, birds that I'm using today, these here, um, I was at the flea market a couple weeks ago. And sitting on a table was this really large bird book. And it was in like one of those coffee table kind of books. And it, it wasn't really old. It was 1961. And um, I, I was kind of afraid to ask the man what he was asking for it because I, I just didn't want to hear. So while I was just kind of flipping through it, he yells out, that book's a dollar. So you guys, you know, you can't make that up. Can't make this stuff up. So, of course, that beautiful book came home with me, and I scanned out these gorgeous birds and altered them up a little so they worked for our purpose. I'm going to continue to trim carefully around my little birds, and we'll go on to the next step. All right, just finishing up my cutting here, and um, let's just get all our paper ready. So I like to just kind of layer this up and I thought I would start with just, this is just a little scrap of lace, just laid it there. And then in your bundle, you'll have all these little book pages and I put plenty of paper in here for you guys so you can just have a good time. And I'm just, just gonna kind of tear this around the edges a little bit. No, no rhyme or reason. And this can be a layer right there. And then this sweet sheet music. I'm just going to kind of do the same thing and cut myself out like a little bit here as well. That can be laying right there. So this is a good time if you want to ink anything up. So I've got my Distress ink, and I'm just using my Old Faithful, the tea dye. And let's see, put a little something down here to protect our table. And I'm just going to gently go around my edges here a little bit. My ink is getting pretty weak, so it's not super strong. If it was super strong, I probably would do this, which would ink up my edges really fast. Just keep in mind when you're doing this old paper, it's very delicate. So don't get don't get too rough with it. And just adding a little ink here and there. You could even add some of your ink to the edges of your bingo card as well. It shows up really pretty, doesn't it? And here we have a little, a little bit of distressing for our bird and just a little bit here for our roses gives everything that sweet little vintagey vibe okay let's get this back out here in front of us and before I commit to any glue I'm just gonna lay it out and show you guys what we're gonna look like okay there's our book page be right there here is our sheet music Let's bring our little birds in right there. It's already looking so sweet. And normally I would like my rose maybe to be raised up a little bit with a little bit of dimension. And I would always grab one of these little double-sided sticky dots. I don't remember what video it was, but one of my subscribers um, left a comment and said, if you don't have the sticky dots, use a button. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? So if you know who you are out there and you told me that, I'm so sorry that I forgot your name. But please let us know in the comments because you deserve credit. That was brilliant. Okay. So look at that. Just a little button there. And right there, we raise our rose right up. Everybody's got an old button. Most of the time, you know, we don't have sticky dots laying around. So that was a wonderful tip. Thank you for that. Okay, I've got some 
a little bit of lace right here that I could layer on there. And let's put our Sing Often right on that. See how quick this comes together? Just pull out all these little bits. Now I had a little bit of dried flour. I wasn't sure what was going if this would look good or not, but let me just kind of put it right here. And with the same seam binding ribbon I used for the top, I just made a bow, which can go maybe like so. I love buttons for everything. I'd maybe pile a couple buttons on like that. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that just really pretty? Let's glue everything on real quick. I'm just going to slide it off. And let's use a Scotch Create glue stick. And I'm going to go over my bingo card here because this is where the lace is just going to lay on. So that'll hold it right on nicely. Then I'm going to switch over, I think, to the Fabrifix glue. Just got it in this little tiny bottle here. And put a little bit right here on the back of this book page. Let's go around. Don't have to get crazy with it. Lay our book page right on there. Okay. And then here comes our sheet music. Same story. Right here. Oh, you can just go crazy with layers, right? Just layering this up with all kinds of pretty things. Maybe scraps of fabric. We'll do that in a second on the on the little parakeet. Okay, let's put our bird. Let's put our bird on. That is our focal point right there. So. Okay, and let's see. Um, yes, the button. I'm hitting. I'm hitting it with the hot glue. We're gonna go for quick grab right there, and we'll just hit the top of it with the hot glue as well. And let's put our beautiful rose right there. Doesn't that look so pretty? The way that's just raised up from the birds. It's a good look. Okay, um, yeah, we got this little bit of little vintage lace here. And then one there, a little extra one on top of it. This sheet music's really pretty. It came from, um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I either I found this on the curb or I got it at the garage sale where the guy, ha that's where I got it. The guy at the garage sale where every book is 10 cents or 25 cents. And um, the, the music and the words and everything are just tiny. So I love that for this. It really worked out good. Okay, let's put our sing often here. All right, let's see. How would we, we got these. Got these little dried flowers. You know what? I think I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to put like a big dot of hot glue. I'm going to lay these right in that. That should do the trick. I want to just kind of pop up. So that big glob right there is probably going to hold that in place. And then I'm going to do the same with this little bow. No, I got to get the hot glue out, and then that should that should that'll secure that right down. Okay. And then I had just some little vintage buttons. They add a cute little touch, just right there, and. You guys, you can you can get out the glitter. You can glitter up your birds. Um, isn't this so pretty? I'm just going to go hang that up. I love that. That is so cute. Okay, you know what's next? We're going to cut out our little budgies.
You know, I call this a tag, but really to me, um, it's like an ornament, I feel. They're just, these are just so pretty when you put these together. Okay, so what I did on the back of, um, in your packet, there is a piece of the heavy cardstock. So I just took and cut this like two inches by six inches. That was just kind of what I thought would be a um, good size for this because he is a little bit long. And I went ahead and did the fussy cutting and cut out our little parakeet here. I put two of them on the sheet for you because they're just way cute. You'll want to make more than one of those. All right, so since this is going to need a hanger, let me find, here we go. Let's just pop a hole in the top of this. Just right, right in the middle. Okay. This is, this is my crocodile, and um, I love this. So, um, but any, any hole punch, any hole punch works. And let's grab a little bit of ribbon. I'm gonna go with a pretty blue. And let's get a, get a hanger on this tag. Okay. Now let's let's layer this let's layer this up with some goodness. How about I have a scrap of fabric? Sweet. I've got a scrap of lace. Just gonna lay that on. Be like that. Let's go this way. It's like a little finished edge on it. I like that. Here is a bit of sheet music that, just like we did for the bingo card, I just kind of tore, tore it up a little bit, tore the sides up a little bit. Let's take our little parakeet. He's so cute. And just lay him right there. The parakeet is um, indigenous to Australia, and that's where they call it a budgie. So I, when I was, I have pictures of myself as a baby and um, I had a little parakeet that looked identical to this guy. His name was Billy. And there's pictures of me with him on my head, on my, on my uh, high chair. <laughs> such a, such a dear little bird, aren't they? Okay. So I've got extra piece of lace here, maybe there on the bottom and this beautiful word for bird song right there. And this is a scrap of lace I had, and I made a bow out of it. Thought how pretty that would be, maybe right there. And then, just like we did on the last one, let's just stack up a couple little old buttons at the bottom. Good. Okay, let's commit. I'm committing to this. This is good. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to take my stick glue. And this definitely... Gets the job done right here. Let's put that little calico fabric on there. And then this lace, I think I'm gonna do maybe just the same thing here since I got so much of this glue on here. Okay. Try not to get that all over my table. Okay, where's my scissors? This was a little long. I'm just going to trim it a little bit right there. Okay. Now, just like we did for the bingo card, I just tore up a little sheet music here. I like it. I'll just go over to the Fabrifix here for the paper. Put this little layer on like so. See, I got that on my table. Let me get that off real quick. Okay. All right, transfer from table to fingers. That's how it works. Okay, now he, I'm going to put this down first, I think. Let the tail overlap it. Also, it's always nice kind of to lay things out before you get the glue out. Gives you an idea where you're going. Then glue this guy up a little bit here. Pop him on. So 
and sweet. Then we have bird song here. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with some cute things to do on your tags. Just having the, the sheet music and the bird is, um, it's a good foundation to get started with something really good. Okay, let's get rid of that and go. This is a piece of scrap lace that I tied into a bow and oh, I love it. It just turned out so pretty and it had like a blue tint to it. I'm going to stick that right there. And here we go. These little old buttons. Remember we thought they'd look cute. Just piled up down here. I like the hot glue for that. It just attaches everything on really quick. Oh, you guys, isn't that just the sweetest? I think I probably would put a little bit of glitter on this. I think it would look really sweet. So there is the little budgie tag, or like I like to call it, that's really a nice little ornament. Wouldn't that be pretty just hanging like on a little nature tree? Love it. Okay, we got one more, which is going to be an ornament. So let me get out everything so we can get that one going. Okay, here comes the ornament, and look at this little guy. It's a little vintage bird, and she's sitting on her nest, filled with her little babies. And just like the others, just get her cut out right here, off of the big sheet. And I'm going to use with this one as um, this one right here that said, Love Lives Here. Okay, this image is so beautiful. It was inspired, let me show you. This came out of one of my old Victorian scrapbooks. Look at that, isn't that something? The paper in those scrapbooks just, just disintegrates. So, but I saw this beautiful bird and it definitely needed some restoration, some repairs. So I did that and brought it back to life beautifully for us. Now, we want this one to have um, a little bit more strength than, um, than our other ones because we were gluing those down on a flat surface. So what we're going to do here, and I know you guys have seen me do this plenty of times if you watch my videos, let's just grab a little piece, cut a little piece off that heavy cardstock in the back of your packet, turn this over, let's just grab the stick glue and glue up the back of this image. Nothing is fussy cutted yet. It's just all just glue covering the whole thing. All right, get that little piece of cardstock and let's lay our little mama bird right on there like so. And what I'm going to suggest to you at this point is, let's make sure our glue is dry. Put this on like this, put a heavy book on it, just let it be for a little bit. Let that glue dry, let this flatten out. You'll be much happier with the result, okay? So let's just set that aside. And I already have one ready for us. I cut it out and you can see it's really strong. And uh, the back of it looks nice with the cardstock instead of, you know, just being white paper. And we can ink up this little lady and her babies. It's so cute. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is let's pop a little hole right here at the top for a hanger. I've got um, this little hole punch here. It makes a smaller hole. I didn't want to put that big giant hole on this piece. So I do a smaller one. If you don't have a smaller hole punch, just grab your little awl and put it out. Make yourself a little hole with that. You can really control the size that you want your hole with those two. How about a little jute for this one? I think that's a good idea. So we'll just run a little bit of jute in here and make a little hanger. Okay, I'm just going to I'll do two here. We'll make a knot. And then let's go ahead and 
just tie it off so we have a little loop here so we could hang up our little bird. Gosh, we're making everything for a nature tree here. All these little sweet little ornaments. Okay. All right. Now, I think what we're going to do next is... Here, I got one of these out. The love lives here. I have a little scrap of rickrack. Once again, using those scraps up. And I'm going to take, and just on these little top points, I'm just going to put a couple little dots of glue on there. And then let's lay this right like so. Just to give it a little extra, a little touch, a little color. There. That's cute. Okay. Um, how about up here where her that little hole is for her hanger? I'm just going to put a little button. This is just a little piece of um, that wood excelsior that we usually make our bird nests out of. And I thought about right there. So I'm just going to use a little hot glue. Lay that on the back like so. So it's just poking out. Okay. And then since I put these little blue flowers on here, they weren't, they weren't on here, but I implemented them in there and they look so pretty. So let's take let dull scissors here. I've got some little tiny blue forget-me-nots and they kind of blend in with the, um, the blue forget-me-nots flowers right here. So I'm just going to lay a couple of these on. Gives a little bit of dimension. That's cute. All right. And then our cute little love lives here. How about that? Just right here in her little nest with her little babies. And there you go. That went together really quick, didn't it? And look at how darling that is. It's the cutest little ornament. All right, let me clean this up and we'll, we'll um, get everything back out. You know, I'm looking at these and I'm trying to decide which one is my favorite and I'm having a hard time deciding. So what do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments which one you like best. We did a lot of fussy cutting today. I think the Victorians would be proud. And uh, this, these were three very cute projects. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I always love our crafting time together. I just wanted to point out, unlike my other bundles, this one will be out really for a limited time due to the nature of the vintage bingo card because I only have so many of those. So just wanted to let you guys know that. So have a beautiful day. May you be blessed with all the good things. And I will see you guys next week. Bye for now. Thank you.